Good to go, Gert. Let's set all. Come on. Hey there guys, so I have included a few of my warm-ups in the lead up to the 350 kilo squat. So far that has been the heaviest weight that I've squatted in my DIY rack. Um, it's served me incredibly well, it was a relatively easy build and far, far cheaper than anything that was going on the market. Um, so yeah, wins on all fronts there. Um, since that 350 kilo squat, I've had this week as a little bit of a deload just to let things recover, with the exception being bench press. I still needed to hit some decent weights this week. And I achieved that on the Wednesday, so I worked up to 225 kilos. I wish it had have moved a little bit better, but I was still spent from the squats the week before, as well as the deadlifts that you'll see next um, and it was just that accumulative fatigue that was starting to set in and it really did rob me of some of my power when it came to bench pressing. My lower back was, you know, tight. I was just fatigued and tired in general. So having a lighter week has obviously helped dramatically in that regard. Still squatted light. I've deadlifted light this week. I'm looking forward to finishing off the rest of my comp prep and hopefully the competition still happens on the 21st of February. So... Each training block builds on the last, so even if the comp doesn't go ahead, I'm not going to be overly disappointed because I continue to improve in the long run. So if you guys haven't already, hit like and subscribe. If you have any questions related to training, feel free to drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Um, until then, I'm just going to continue training in the garage gym and I really enjoy what I have. Um, and I recommend, you know, others look to the garage gym lifestyle as well, if room permits, because you save so much time on traveling and it's just a great way to train in general. So that's it from me, guys. Hope you guys have a great day wherever you are. And thank you for watching.